We're here at the boys' six, seven, and eight two K race. And you can see every, all the young runners getting ready to compete. Parents and coaches assisting them. Last minute instructions, high five, and all the encouragement that goes with it. A pretty large field. Have a somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 runners and 30 different schools, or not schools, uh, clubs that are participating here today. Young Tykes are going to be running a 2K. It's going to be essentially a out and back course. They'll start here at the Unified Start and then they'll run out make a, a loop through the middle section of the course. They won't go all the way back and run the uh, course that the uh, 5K runners have uh, run earlier today. They'll cut through the middle section and then double back on the same course to the unified finish. It's already starting to see a little bit of mud in the uh, just after the uh, start here, probably right around, I'd say about 200 300 meters into it, they're going to hit a muddy section, and then on the back stretch, there's a section that's uh, starting to get a little soupy between the uh, where the uh, 2K and 5K courses join together, all the way up through the gazebo section of the course is starting to get a little bit muddy. Multiple teams participating today. Sarah, what teams are uh, participating today in this competition? The Louisville Tiger Sharks, the Belvedere Tornadoes, Brokaw, Philly CYO, Body and Training, Accelerators, Derby City, Dogwood Cross Country, the Elgin Sharks, Lowe, Westfield Greenway, Hudson Youth, the Running Tigers, Buffalo Chips, KC Cheetahs, Glenn, yeah, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Copley, Indiana, Cal Striders, St. Louis Grazers, Lawrence County, Kit Suppliers, AOC, Farmington, CMAC All Stars, and the Knights, and Indiana Staff. As you can see, we have a huge complement of teams that are going to be competing here today at the 2017 edition of the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship. We're here at Voice of America Park. Our starter at the Cannon is Coach Gordon Bocock, longtime official from Kentucky. He's officiated from the smallest little all comers all the way up to the Olympics and is the regular at the uh, Kentucky High School Athletic Association as far as the officials we've got the back view right now all the parents got their phones ready it's now at the start of the race our official Gordon Bocock has the red flag it will not be a gun it will be a cannon We'll see some of the kids jump and a few might uh, get scared. Flag is up. We're checking the line right now, walking down, making sure nobody's across the line. And the cannon has fired. The runner's off and we now have an official start of the boys. Six, seven, and eight year old 2K race. It's all dry and flat from this angle, but just as they press the hillside here in just a moment, they'll be hitting the first of some muddy sections. This is cross country, folks. It's not volleyball or some indoor sport. You roll with the weather. And the moms and dads have to clean the shoes afterwards. Some of the individuals to look for in this particular race. Have some top performing teams. Brokaw Blazers be looking for Bloomker, Lent, Christensen in this particular race. Belvedere Tornadoes. 
Okay, pause for just a moment. The race time is now 345 as they're in the middle portion of the course. Got one runner, two runners that are kind of separating themselves from the pack. We'll get you information on those two. Then a chase pack of two more. The third one kind of there. And then the main body of the runners. So we got about five or so that have separated themselves and could easily vie for a national title. And then maybe somebody in the back pack can move forward and challenge one of them. But uh, individuals to look for, I was mentioning the Belvedere Tornadoes. We have Brennan Butt, Johnson, Corelli, Kazool, and Cassis are individuals to look for on that particular team. And then a team that has really been uh, successful historically at this meet is the Hudson Youth out of uh, Ohio. And you can get more information if you're uh, from this area of Ohio and like to run with the Hudson Youth. You can get information at youth.explorerscrosscountry.com. I believe that's their official website. But uh, team uh, members to look for, there's uh, looks like two brothers, David and Benjamin Sajovi. There's uh, Drew Mayer, Henry Barker, Charlie Gianetti, like that last name, Charlie Gianetti, and Calvin Chandler and James Chandler rounding out the roster for Hus Hudson Youth and the boys six, seven, and eight year old 2K race, out and back course essentially. Other teams to look for and individuals, top performers in that particular team, Derby City, they've done really well in this race in the past. Kicks for Broken, Paxton Cook, and Joseph Serapina are individuals to look for on that particular team. We've taken you into the finish now. Looks like that same young man in the black is coming across. He has one challenger. We'll get you some information on them here in a little bit. Looks like that first finisher, Fletcher Rodbro, unattached runner. Second was Brighton Lack from St. Louis Blazers. Third runner across was Aiden Taylor. And fourth was Banner Barnes. And then the long stream. Uh, Sarah, do we have any information on Fletcher Rodbro? Just a little bit. He ran for Team Running to Win in Ohio at the AAU Region, region 4 Qualifiers, placing 8th in the 800 meter, and that's about all we've got. It's hard to find some information about these younger guys. They just don't have the history that some of the 16, 17, 18 year olds have. Looking back at this race, and we don't know what the team score is going to be, but I believe we... Uh, uh, we'll be able to provide you with that information conclusion of this race. Last year, Garrison Gilvin from Derby City was a top performer, followed by Dane Kramer. And uh, McDaniel was a third runner. Murphy, fourth from Derby City. Fifth was Pearson Evans from Philadelphia CYO. Had a uh, little fewer runners last year, so this race just continues to grow. It was about 178 runners last year, 18 full teams. Uh, probably another 15 to 20 partial teams after that. Top performing team last year, uh, defending national champ, Philadelphia CYO. Louisville Tiger Shark second, Brokaw Blazers third, Derby City fourth, and Belvedere Tornadoes fifth. Looking back at 2015, Nolan Yagel from Philadelphia CYO was a top uh, performer and national champion, and Elias uh, Butelev from Knoxville Youth was the runner-up that particular year in the boys' six, seven, and eight-year-old race. You can see them all coming across here. You're watching the uh, 2K race at the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship here at Voice of America Park in Southern Ohio. It's the second uh, time that this national championship has been on this course. I remember the course in 2008. Cold, cold, cold is all you can say about it. 
Nobody was prepared for it. This year, everybody was prepared for the cold, and it was a balmy 50 degrees. 5.30 this morning, it was 55 degrees, and the temperature has climbed since that point in time. It's up to about 59 at race time. But back in 08, when we had the race here, it was just a sight to behold. I've never seen so many purple-legged kids in all my life. Their legs were turning purple due to the weather, and there was like no wind breaks. If you look at this course, there's tons of wind breaks, but back in 08, there was no wind breaks at all. And it was just cold from the beginning of the day and all the way to the end. Had snow flurries that day, and I was never so glad to be done. But we're coming to the conclusion of this particular race. We'll be providing you with team scores in just a little bit. Thank you for watching the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship Boys 2K Race. Joining me are the uh, top two finishers in the 2K race. Uh, Fletcher, you were the first finisher. Tell me a little bit about your race. Um, I, I, I felt tired when I started out, but then I felt a lot better when I was in the middle of the race. Well, great. And uh, Brayton, uh, you were the second one uh, across the finish line today. Tell me a little bit about your race. I just felt good. I wanted to have fun. Shot Tigers! Uh, I had a good race, and that's about it. Well, great. Uh, what, re uh, what school do you attend? Bristol. Bristol Elementary, and what grade are you in? Second. Second grade. And Fletcher, what school do you go to? And that's in Louisville? No. Where's it? Oxford, Ohio. Oxford, Ohio. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you uh, didn't have too awful far to travel today, did you? No. Well, congr about six hours. You had a six-hour travel? Well, great. Well, congratulations today on your all's uh, successful finish here at the Cross Country Coaches National Youth Championship. Thank you.